Hello and welcome and today we're going to look at installing the Eniseku W2 also known as the Senai X N60 in either the home or a simple installation into a vehicle. So the install kit that the manufacturer gives is a DC lead which is unterminated uh, that you can wire that into your home 12 volt power supply or into the wiring 12 volt wiring of the car it also comes with a mobile mounting bracket which again you could screw into the car dashboard or you could mount it on the desk to mount the rig or you could equally mount it under a shelf to mount the rig as well um, but we'll uh, just put those aside for the moment so it also stands on the desk of its own accord so if you're using it just on the desk there probably isn't any need to use a mobile mounting bracket at all. Now if you're going to use it at home the simplest way to power it is by using one of these power supplies which comes with a suitable three pin connector. This will plug directly into the back of the radio and these are available from the link below. So if we, we simply plug it in the back, plug it into the mains So that's a, just a very, very simple uh, way of getting it up and running into uh, into your shack um, without having to uh, use your main power supply. So as far as installing it in a vehicle, as I said earlier, you could use the bracket that the manufacturers supply. The problem with this, of course, is in a modern car, it's very difficult to find a location where you could actually screw this into the dashboard. And would you want to? Uh, if your car is a lease car or a company car, you would uh, you would you wouldn't uh, be able to do that. And if you own the vehicle, you probably don't want to screw it into uh, into the dashboard. That was okay 30, 40 years ago when we had lots of space under dashboards, but isn't really a viable solution uh, these days. Again, looking at the cable that comes with it, this will allow you to wire it into the 12 volts system of the car. Again, you might not want to do that, you might not want to feed this through the firewall um, or you might not want to connect it into the fuse box. Um, so an alternative to that is to use a pre-prepared lead. We have two here. One is a splitter cable, just move that up a bit. One is a splitter cable. This plugs into the 12 volt accessory port. This plug plugs into the W2. And then this socket here allows you to plug on further accessories. So if you only have one accessory part in your dashboard, this means that you can have your additional um, chargers, phone chargers, etc. plugged into here. You're not going to lose the socket. Uh, these leads are reasonably short. So this solution would work when the uh, accessory socket is near where you want to uh, mount the, uh, the radio. Secondly, we have this type of lead. This uh, doesn't uh, have a splitter, but it does have a much longer lead on it. So if the radio is some way away from the 12 volt socket, you could use one of these. This has a power on off button and again, the correct socket. Now, in order to mount the rig without using uh, the mobile mounting bracket, uh, one useful tip is to use these solid rubber wedges. They have to be the solid rubber ones. Um, they, there's some very similar ones that are moulded plastic. Um, those won't work. And so this allows you to put wedges in around the rig as required to fix it into a space on your dashboard. Maybe where you put the keys or uh, drinks etc you can wedge that in and we'll show you that a little later uh, on in the video when we uh, show the installation into the vehicle so what you would do is you would then chop these down to size you'd, you'd wedged it first just make a mark on here as to where you uh, you want to cut it and just use a simple hacksaw and you can cut them to size when you've got the rig installed in the car the W2 is great because it has a built-in microphone here just above uh, the 
microphone socket. This allows you to use the set hands-free. Now you could reach down and uh, press the screen on and off uh, if you were using Zello for instance, but that's not a real safe solution. Uh, the best way is to install a Bluetooth button onto the steering wheel. This will allow you to use the push to talk uh, facility in the middle of the button and therefore key the rig um, without taking your hands from the wheel. There's a couple of types of these. Um, this is one type and uh, there's another type which looks like that. Slightly more elaborate but does the same job. So with these items we should be able to install it into the vehicle very quickly and also without making any holes or additions into the vehicle and also it will allow us to remove it very very quickly should we be leaving the vehicle and don't want to leave the radio in it or swapping vehicles. So that said let's now go out and fit this into the vehicle. Okay so firstly we're going to put in the splitter cable as I uh, showed you earlier. One end has got um, the cigar socket on it, the other end has got the three pin connector to go into the back of the W2. Put that in there like that. Then what we can do is place into the space here the GPS antenna which goes along with the W2 so that's ready to connect as well. Then what we can do is uh, connect the power into the W2 if we can get it uh, correctly wired. There we go. Put into it the uh, GPS antenna making sure we get the correct socket. And then just for the moment we'll sit that there. So into this, that's powering up. So into this socket we can now add our accessories if we have any. And uh, here I have a Belkin dual adapter um, and I've got a lead there for an Android phone and a lead for the iPhone. So stick that in there. You can see that that is powered up. So what we can do now is simply ease this into position. And now the trick is here is to put our door wedges and then basically we have it installed. Um, so that's quite a neat installation. Power lead out the side um, for any uh, additional accessories you want to still power. So you haven't lost your socket. GPS is tucked back there. Obviously there will be different installations in different vehicles. Um, if you need a longer cable um, because the, you have to fit it into the uh, central well. Um, I showed one of those uh, cables earlier. Somebody coming uh, through there on network radios. So there's a finished installation with the microphone attached. If you don't want to use the handheld uh, microphone, the fist microphone, then you could use a Bluetooth button. I have one installed here on the steering wheel. So there it is. And there's two different styles available. Both uh, are uh, featured in the link below. That way you can use the unit hands-free. The W2 has a built-in microphone, so you can disconnect the uh, fist mic. There's a small microphone in the radio itself. Um, that was more than adequate picking up your voice in uh, in the car and uh, you can control the PTT by pressing the central button of the Bluetooth button um, which uh, makes it uh, much safer when driving. So thank you for watching. I hope that's been of help. I hope uh, you've got a few ideas on how you can install the W2 um, into your vehicle or into your shack at home and um, 73 enjoy your network radios